Hey, 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 we are here already. How about it? How about a wow. video first? Wow, like instantaneous. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the worst fucking podcast you've ever heard. Both mics. Thank you, thank you. No autographs, please. No autographs. <laughs> Just throw money. Just throw money. Wad it up, you know, though. I don't want your coins. I want you to wad it up real tight, some, like, like yeah, a bunch. We have, some, we have some pretty cool intro music. Yeah, I like it. For a lot. like. Free non royalty throwaway music that belongs to somebody. Oh, no, they, awesome it's, oh, they don't think it's that much throwaway. We got a copyright claim, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't mean they want me to stop using it, but uh, they want me to know that if we make a shit ton of money with their song, they're gonna come see me. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. I like it yeah. too. I like it too. I forget the name of the, the guys and all that. Maybe I'll look that up later Dave. on in the show. It's Dave. But, uh, Anyway, welcome to Both Mics, everybody. Hey, folks. <clears throat> Both Mics is a show about nothing and everything. That over there, sitting on the opposite side of the screen, is Mike Safka. And that over there is Mike Taylor. And together, we're both we mics. We are both mics. Yeah. Yes, we are. We, we are little, you are listening to show number 119. Crazy. Prime number. Prime number. Uh, of Both Mics, you can hear us anywhere. Podcasts can be heard. You name it, we're there. Uh, typically on Friday night, you can find us on twitch.tv slash both mics around 7 Eastern time. We run about run about two hours. We do a little halftime show <clears throat> of nothing in the middle. And uh, come check us out. Subscribe. Listen. Tell a friend. Tell your mom. And, uh, hey, check us out on bothmics.com. How so, about tell your Sanka. friend's mom? How about that? Th that, too. You could pick your friends, you could pick your mom's friends, but you can't pick your nose because people will judge you. All right, it's time for my second favorite part of the show. That's the alien update. If I can get it to work. Nothing to see here. Fucking alien! Where? Fire! Warning! Alien approaching! Warning! an alien robot. You could be an alien robot, right? But not all robots are domestic. I computed the aliens. They are capable of sinister and dangerous acts. You weird alien man! Alright, the alien update. This is where we talk about not the 7 billion people on the planet, but we talk about the 7 or so that are so far ahead of everyone. They've taken us further in technology, culture, social, um, uh, economically, they're leading the board as far as money, the wealthiest people in the world. Of course, we're talking about Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Zuckerberg, Bezos, Branson. I'm sure we could add a little. I, I mean, there's just, these people are aliens. If they're not aliens, they have direct alien contact or, or something's going on there because you don't. You, that's, so it's one in a billion people is, is the statistic. I mean, it's literally one in a billion. Yeah. I, I, I don't believe in that math because I could win a lottery easier. So right. I believe it's an alien. I, I believe they're alien. <laughs> alien interference. Yes. Anyway. So what's happening? Well, one of our favorite aliens is is yes. Elon Musk. But before yes. I before I discuss that, we we, we had an alien situation where I was able to get an interview. Okay. Okay. This is, I was able to get an interview with an alien, and <laughs> she prefers to be called. I, I don't know, some, some sort of intellect, some sort of uh, advanced intellect. 
they don't i guess i i don't think aliens like the n-word to them but you know i just <laughs> I, I, you know i wanted to be careful you know nowadays you got to be careful with your pronouns and shit you know you don't want to miss miss uh misgender someone no misrepresent yeah, yeah so i i had the opportunity to to come across this person who is an alien but they're in a human form right now and 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 i interviewed them and uh we, we may go back and interview again but it's on the websites it's on the facebook it's on youtube twitter it's everywhere so go check it out it's an actual live interview with an alien and it'll answer some questions but it'll open up a hundred more and I, the word must have got out already because I had a visitor come by just before the show kicked off here. And oh, hey, hang on, let, let me get the intern and let the visitor in here. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and let my visitor back. I'm just going to introduce my visitor real quick here because, you know, I, I rarely have people stop by the studio. So come on over. How are you? Is it Mike Stradamus? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll be with you in a little bit, all right? All right. That sounded intimate. Nanu, nanu. Right. Live long and prosper. Gadzooks. Thank you. Yeah, make sure the visitor has plenty to eat and drink. And was that what that slime was on the floor out there? Yeah, clean that shit up. <laughs> all right. All right, so anyway... <laughs> All right, getting back to it. <laughs> getting back to it. Elon Musk, he's always on the Alien Update here. He has put out the word to his people. He has said remote work is no longer acceptable at Tesla. You can put in your 40 hours, and you can do it here, or you can get the fuck out. What do you think, Mike? You know, it... Working over probably over two years now at home, I, I see the, the 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 positives of actually going to an office, you know, of actually getting out of the house and and you know, uh, yeah, it, it's 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 strange, you know, interaction with your coworkers. You I, know, I, most of my coworkers I met once. Yeah, I you know I think that um, a lot of this depends on the business you're in. I mean, if you're yeah. if you're a, 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 a handyman or a guy who repairs stuff in people's homes, you're not staying home to work, you know? No. But no. if you're a professional person who can do visitations or whatever on and meetings on, on the internet and so forth, why waste the gas at seven, eight bucks a gallon, whatever it is now, to, yeah, to, to, to go sit in a different building and do the same thing? Now, I'm sure there's people that milk the shit out of it and, you know, don't do the right, right. thing, but... Right. Right. Well, those it's like that people all the time. Are, are people are yeah, you know, people are bad at life, <clears throat> regardless of of whether or not they're working at home or working at an actual establishment. Now wait a second. Uh, I take offense to that. I I was very bad at life for a very long time. Yeah. Well, you know, there's there's a spectrum of bad at life. You know. Well, he wants to make sure that this is this is legit. Here's the actual memo that went out. It's from Elon Musk, Tuesday, May 31st, 2022, at 1.19 p.m., to his executive staff. Subject, remote work is no longer acceptable. Anyone who wishes to do remote work must be in the office for a minimum, and I mean minimum, of 40 hours per week or depart Tesla. This is less than we wow. ask of factory workers. If there are particularly exceptional contributors for whom this is impossible, I will review and approve those exceptions directly. Moreover, the office must be a main Tesla office, not a remote branch office unrelated to job duties. For example, being responsible for Fremont Factory Human Relations, but having your office in another state. I think, you know, people were taking some liberties and... He don't like that, right? Yeah, he, he came across it personally, and uh, <clears throat> you know when you're 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 running that tight of a ship, and you are a hands-on you know CEO or owner, whatever the hell his title is there, you know stuff like that's going to happen. So it's unfortunate. Apparently, this wasn't direct enough. A lot of his employees probably had questions <laughs> after this. I don't see how you can have a question, Christ. It sounds like you, right? You know, you you do what we say or you walk. <laughs> you know. Exactly. All right, so here's the follow-up memo from Musk. From Elon Musk, subject...
To be super clear, <laughs> everyone at Tesla is required to spend a minimum of 40 hours in the office per week. Moreover, the office must be where your actual colleagues are located, not some remote pseudo office. If you don't show up, we will assume you have resigned. The more senior you are, the more visible must be your presence. That is why I lived in the factory so much so that those in line could see me working alongside them. If I had not done that, Tesla would long ago have gone bankrupt. There are, of course, companies that don't require this, but when, when was the last time they shipped a great new product? It's been a while. Tesla has and will create and actually manufacture the most exciting and meaningful products of any company on earth. This will not happen by phoning it in. I get it. Right. I'm okay with it. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> of course you're okay with it. He well, the guy probably knows check. what the hell he's doing. He's made it this yeah. far. No, I totally agree. You know, especially <clears throat> you know people who just are, try to skate through life. So yeah. Do you know anybody no, like that? Like they don't do what shit. Is and, and they get all Dude. the breaks in the world and all the great oh. stuff happens to them, but they don't try. Yep. Yeah. Isn't that frustrating? Yeah. Yep. Well, the, the one person that comes to mind right now is uh, is dead because of his, you know, his, his activities in life. But I don't know what he died from. But, yeah, I just know he was he was useless at work until we let him go to the city so he can score his drugs. And then he would come back to work and he would do the work of five people. You know, it's a, I knew a guy in the car business, and he told me this story. This is a story I heard secondhand, and um, he was telling me a similar story about a similar situation with a past co-worker at a different place. And this guy, this guy who's telling me his story is an old Jewish guy from New York. His name's Walter, okay? And Walter would say, Walter would say shit to you at times. He'd be like, yeah, quit cracking my shoes. Get the fuck out of here. Stuff like that. You know, an old right. Jewish New York guy, you know, get out of here. Who pissed in your Wheaties? Fuck you. You know, that that, that was the greeting you got from That me. guy. Right. 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 Well, the morning, that that's what you that. got, you know. so That was endearment for, for New York. Yeah, so he's telling me a story one day, and he goes, Mike, I got to tell you, these drugs are killing this country. He goes, the last place I was at. Well, let me tell you what happened. He says, we had a guy, he kept doing drugs. He was doing them right in the bathroom. He was shooting up right in the bathroom. And and this is back in like 2004, dude. This is way back, just like almost right. 20 years ago, okay? And he goes, yeah, it was so bad. Everybody knew he was all fucked up, but he was the owner's son, so they couldn't oh, blow God. him out. He had a PhD, Papa Hat dealership. So, we, <laughs> I thought I thought PhD was post hole digger. Yes, yes, yes. He um, he went in the bathroom at work, in the building where they conduct business. They were selling cars. It was a car dealership. They were selling cars, right. and he was in the bathroom and he shot up or whatever, and everybody knew he was doing that. And like the store got real busy and everything started happening. And somebody uh, came up to to him, Walter, and said, "Hey, there's somebody on the floor in the bathroom." over there you might want to go check that out or call for help or something so he goes in there and it's dude with the needle hanging out of his arm and he's fucking dead i mean he's fucking dead dude right there so it's saturday in the car business it's about 12 <laughs> noon which is super bowl fucking sunday kickoff in the car business that's when it happens right. you know yeah so he went and got the manager and the man he said hey maybe we should call and he goes Look at this place. We're fucking busy. He ain't going to get any more debtor. How about this? Let's lock the bathroom. Put a sign on it that says out of order. Sell some fucking cars. And when we're done with the day, then we'll call the fucking police. How about that? And that's what they did. Wow. So, wow. I mean, even in death, there's no respect when shit like that happens. It's hard, dude. Wow. I mean, I, I you know, I feel for people who struggle. I feel for, you know, I'm not talking down about anybody but you know hell christ get some help you know yeah well dude my, my thought for the longest time is you are where you are in life because you want to be there right the choices you've made in the past will put you where you are today and the choices you make today will determine where you go tomorrow you know it, 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 it's not a hundred percent thing you know people people have crimes committed against them you're not you're not there because you want to be there but right. <laughs> the decisions you've made put you where you are today well you know? 
I made a decision when I, I made a decision when I found this alien to do an interview with her, and I got some of it to play right here. We're not going to listen to it because we might have audio problems, but it's playing right there. If you want to see this thing in its entirety, it's like 23, 24 minutes long. It's on the YouTube. It's on the socials. It's everywhere. Um, do me a favor. If you watch it, you know, if you think this this person's not legit, hey, I get it. You know, there's a world full of doubters. But I'm going to I'm gonna give this one a benefit of the doubt. And, I, you know, sounds plausible. Sounds articulate. Sounds like something that could be happening. So I'm going to... I'm gonna I, I'm gonna invite Blue back for another interview. What do you think, oh, Mike? God. I think you've lost your mind. <laughs> you you watched the video, right? <clears throat> I watched the entire video. Yep. Okay, and you don't believe that it's plausible at all that she could be a being from somewhere else? Plausible at all? All right. I'll... <sighs> Give me a dumb and dumber. How much of a chance? How much of a chance? How much percent of a chance? I give her 10% chance. Uh, no, I give her 7% chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Okay, I like it. Because I don't think you were this open-minded before you saw the video. Or has this, Whatever. Has this swung the other way? Were you more open-minded yeah. and now you're like, oh, no. I've always been at 7%. Yeah, she... she this woman is a psychiatric patient. Oh, stop, stop. I'm going to stop you right there. God, <sighs> dude. Look, I think I think she was pleasant, articulate, and I think there's some legitimacy to the things that she was saying. I did. I was doing research. She was articulate. I think she just rambled the same, the same phrases over and over. No, dude. No, no, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Dude, you got to look at this whole thing as a whole, dude. She, she had a she had like a a, a a little essay kind of memorized and it it almost seemed like she was reading off of something the way she was kind of robotic I don't know it. and you know hey if I'm getting put on or something it is what it is but you know me I'm going to look into stuff cuz this stuff interests me and, and and I think that this is a possible situation where this I could really be talking to some sort of entity from somewhere else I really think so dude. I really think there's a chance there Let's start off with her name. Mm -hmm. Blue Phoenix. That's obviously why, why, the why can't it be like why can't it be like Cindy Smith? She has or, a name you know, like that. She has a name like that. I think this is how her alien form identifies. Because now you can't you know, nowadays and not that this is anything to her. do with it, but you can't misgender anyone nowadays. You yeah, can't. well you just called her her. Well, she's presented herself as a as a female form in the human body. Okay. So, um, what's up? What's up with the tattoos? Aliens get tattoos. Well, you know, she said, I, "I see she has tattoos, but this is for her vessel that I believe she's in now." <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, does she do all her interviews in a car? I don't know. Maybe that's a spaceship, yeah. dude. You can't tell. It, it's it's probably a Saturn. Saturn. All right. General Look, Morgan. I don't want this to come off the wrong way. I don't want people to think we're ripping on this because I'm not, dude. I think, I think it's totally plausible. I, I'm excited about the opportunity to learn more and grow, and you know, yeah. Anytime you can learn something, dude. Even if, even if some, not everybody believes it. You know, if I told you in 2019 that the world's economy was going to stop, they were going to put something over your face so you couldn't talk or breathe very well, you would have told me, get the fuck out of here. That's not going to happen. They're not going to shut everything down. And what happened? Well, so, it was only two weeks. <laughs> oh, yeah, just to curb the, 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 the spread or whatever. Now, yeah. well, what I'm saying is it's the same thing. Just because you don't agree with it, doesn't mean you have to be closed-minded to it. So I'm just going to ask you, Mike, will you be open-minded to learning more about Blue and this situation here? Sure. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, now, I'm, I'm going to change your I, mind on this. I have a, I have a prediction because if you watch the video about, what, 12, 13 minutes in, she kind of stumbles and she had to go. She was losing power on her phone in her car. Mm -hmm. I guess she didn't have a phone charger in her car. It, my thought is it was the orderlies came out to the parking lot and, and saw that she was in. She was Stop. probably just 
She was flipping, flipping door That's... handles, looking for an open car to sit in. She I found don't... an open car to sit in, and then the orderlies came out and got her. Stop. I don't think right. that's true at all. I don't think that's true. Look, we had a great conversation. It was about 23, 24 minutes. I kept it as an overview on purpose. And I'm going to go back and do a deep dive into several different topics with her, I believe. she's She, she said she was open to, to speaking with me again. Probably not after she hears you now, Mike. But, you know. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, guess what, lady? Guess what, River, Blue, Phoenix, whatever the name is. Stop. I think Green. I think there's legitimacy to all this, dude. I think you know what? We're gonna have to just agree to disagree for now. But I like your open mindedness to, to, to you know explore this further. I, I appreciate that. So I'm and, gonna... and she needs to explain why there was an exit sign above the door in the room she was in. Maybe that's the way <clears throat> out. Yeah, that's the, the way like out. if the interview's not maybe... going well, that's the way out. Maybe it was the day room that the orderlies brought her to. <laughs> Dude, you're killing because me. Because she's freaking Cucamonga. She's not going to want to come back now. Thank you. She had she had to, she had to take her lithium in it, lithium and her Thorazine. Oh my god, dude! Stop, stop. Go seek her out on the socials. Dude, Check out some of I've, her stuff. I've been around enough psychiatric patients in my life to know one. Oh my god, Mike, you're making this tough on me. Dude. You're making it tough. All right, I'm going to move on here. This week was... <laughs> okay. and, and, and by the way, she currently resides in Florida. So, for whatever that is. Oh, oh, God. Yeah. yeah. So. A Great. Florida man. Great. This is a big week She'd for Florida people. my door dude. with a knife. Huge week for Florida people, okay? A guy was it's playing summer. Frisbee golf in Largo, Florida. And his Frisbee yeah. went into the water by a foot or two. He went in to grab it and was never seen again. He was dragged down by a gator. Don't ask. Is that not the craziest shit you've ever heard? Yeah. No, look, there's no. the frisbee, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, let's, there's the frisbee. Let's look only at the frisbee. Let's not look around. Oh, look, there's a pair of eyes. I'm going to get my frisbee. Don't ask. I, I don't yeah. Now, that's not the guy. This is a copy of the news report I'm showing on the video here, but... Um, you know, it it, it, it it just it's always Florida man. It's always the you know, it's always the Florida man's the get off my lawn guy when he gets older too. <laughs> yep. Anyway, they uh let me act let me see if I can get the uh the rundown here again. I just wanna make sure I have everything correct here. Uh the guy is a forty seven year old man and Alligator trappers rushed to the scene. This is according to USA Today. Alligator trappers rushed to the scene at Taylor Lake in South John S. Taylor Park, a popular disc golf scene. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission said in a statement, the 47-year-old man was not immediately identified because his family was being notified. Uh, Dumbass. Uh, let's see. This is isn't the, those frisbees? This isn't the first attack at the park. Another man retrieving discs was bitten in the face by an alligator in 2020. Wow. I hate when that happens. And those, the thing is, those those discs, frisbees as we call them, yeah, um, yeah, they, they've they've morphed over the years for this disc golf sport. Yeah, and my now brother they're like plays. Thirty bucks a piece. Yeah, yeah. It's no longer the uh, Kmart four ninety nine. Yeah, the, the whammo frisbee. Yeah, the piece of plastic. It probably it cost them like hobby. four cents to make. Yeah, yeah, in China, no less. And you know the great thing about it, those frisbees? They last forever. That shit ain't the, that shit is gonna be here when we're long gone, dude. That yeah, plastic shit. Right? Oh yeah. <coughs> well, and the thing is, it's like how how can you take a, an ordinary thing that costs ninety nine cents typically? And how how can we charge more for it? Well, we, we make it a, a special sport. Yeah, then you and, gotta you know, have need, special you frisbees. Need, you need a, yeah, yeah, you need a, a precision disc in order to get the frisbee to go inside the chains. Whatever. All right. So, remember how I told you that this was a big week for Florida man? Yes. This is this guy's <laughs> mugshot. Do you think he did it? No, he's innocent. Okay, well, I have it's video like, of him actually per perpetrating a crime. Oh, and I'm, okay. I'm going to show you the video. 
of him perpetrating a crime. This is according to News Channel. There is him at a Starbucks, inside a Starbucks, with his hand down his pants, whacking it. The girls are like flooding out of this place, telling him, just stop, leave us alone, get away, don't look at us. So then he goes outside where they're sitting, and he sits across from them and starts doing it, dude. <laughs> He's from the same psychiatric center the uh, the aliens from oh, Miami Beach. So here, here here's what I want to do. I want to have fun with this one, okay? okay. I want to figure out how many different slang terms we can give to this activity before the video's up, okay? Before the video's okay. over, okay? So I'll go first. Punching the clown. <laughs> Spanking the monkey. That's an easy one. That's an easy one. Um, jerking it. Okay. Uh, 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 waxing the carrot. Wow, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, yeah. Preparing the salami. <laughs> um, can, can we just go with masturbation? Sure. Hey, uh, that'll count. That'll count. Are you keeping track of how many we're getting here? I think we're up to six. Look at this guy. He's he's literally outside, and they're like, "Can you stop?" <laughs> he's like approaching them, whacking it, and now somebody's. Confronting him, I don't know, dude. There's two dudes I would not want to fight: totally naked dude and dude that's whacking it. <laughs> well, the, the the guy who's whacking it at least has one hand occupied, so you can't only fight with the other. And if he's totally naked, dude, and whacking it, I really don't want to have any part of it, dude. Beating off. Beating off. Okay. Beating okay. Off, yeah. Stroking the pony. <laughs> He's all sweaty in his picture and everything. They had the mugshot of him. He's all sweaty. Like, yeah, he's been working that right arm out for a while. Massaging the one-eyed wonder worm. Look, it looks like he's trying to do it in court, too, the way he's got his hands <laughs> positioned. Anyway. What I, is it What is it with, with certain groups of people that always have their hand down there? Oh, Mike. All right. That's Mike underscore Taylor. Taylor. Oh, you can't do that anymore. That one's on you. You, you. you just send your complaints to me, and uh, legal things will go to our corporate office and sort it out there. But, um, Mike, who are those people? Who are you talking about? I don't know. It just, it just seems like... People that walk people... around grabbing their thing? Yeah. Just, you know, what's the deal with that, you know? My four-year-old does it. Hey, every look, the last guy liked to hold some meat. You know, maybe everybody likes to hold some meat. They were holding the meat for this lady at the Steak and Shake. This is in Florida as well. Her order was wrong. She wasn't liking how it was being fixed. So she took matters into her own hand. And what she do? She went back and started beating that bitch's ass who was making her shit. Throws her to the floor. Look. It's kicking her. The other people are standing around watching. Dude comes from out the back. They're trying to hold her. They're right, like her friend. Camera. Her friend is standing phone. there by the counter. Her friend is just standing there, right? Watch this. They're going to get in there. Jump on her. <laughs> They're all kicking now. I mean, it was a beatdown, dude. Over a bad order at the Steak and Shake. Wow. Steak are, and Shake is in, is in rough. In are rough those shape. the people you're talking about, Mike? Those are the people that I actually saw one of those people holding their schlong <laughs> while, while they were, were beating <laughs> while they were kicking. <laughs> um, steak and shake. Did you know that they're in such rough shape that they will give you one of their out of out of business franchises for ten grand investment? Really? For a ten thousand dollar investment, they'll give you one of their their belly up freaking steak and shakes. Well, yeah, because they're pro- performing steak and shakes. Yeah, why, why would I want that? Well, I mean, I, yeah. If you're gonna, if for ten grand, I can open up my own steak and shake over here where uh, everybody's got money and and credits and drives nice cars and shit. I'll I'll do that. Yeah, I doubt it's. Yeah, they won't. They, they I won't venture to one. say, I venture to say, most of those addresses have numbers and directions on them. Yes. Yes. 
probably letters like M, L, and K. Wait. <laughs> oh, really, Mike? Oh, my God. I wasn't going there. I was meaning it was downtown. It was central, yeah, like oh, West 157th Street Boulevard. Oh, okay. my, my apologies. My apologies. <clears throat> yeah, so you can get a, a defunct steak and shake for ten grand, and then they, they'll split the profit with you 50-50. Hmm. So I guess that's supposed to be a bargain. We had a um, steak and shake for ten grand. By the way, I didn't um, I didn't see this until just now. We did have a, a chat from a, a, in our Twitch room here. They they, they gave a, another name to us, Mike. Petting the snake. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Good job, Debbie. Good job. Good job. Yeah. It's been a stellar week for Florida people. Like I said, here's another one. Now, Mike, I want you to look at this video closely. Okay. This is a person who is on this person's property, like a foot outside their windows and stuff of their property. I in Florida. Yes. <laughs> Describe to me what's going on. I see uh, somebody who's definitely on meth or something, just flipping out. On someone's front porch. Yeah. I mean, literally. Like, they're calling her a possessed lady and saying she broke into the house. And, and look, she's she's around the back window now. Wow. I mean. I would, uh, I, like I've always said, some people need to be chased with a stick. This one would be chased with a stick. They think she was on that thing called Flocka. Flocka. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Basalts, Flacca. Yeah, and I think what that really, <laughs> what that really does is just really totally fucks with you. Look, she looks like she's on another planet, dude. Looks like she's flailing about her arms. Yeah. Usually, you see this in an intersection downtown somewhere. Yeah, like in a big <laughs> not city. On your front porch. Yeah. So, yeah, not on your front porch. Somewhere where all the Democrats live. Oh. Anyway, look. I would have been scared shitless. I, I might have had to get a gun here. I, I, I mean, this lady's doing crazy shit out on this porch, jumping all around, right. wiggling around, hands behind the back, she, out in front. She's she's doing yoga, bro. She's she, yoga. She does have the sports bra and the yoga 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 <laughs> pants going. <coughs> yeah, it's a uh, yeah, it's a mess, bro. I, I yeah I get to, I get the broom you know like you, you you try to shoot the raccoon out of the garage with a broom yeah I'd be or that or an earth rake maybe smack her with an earth rake that would be good I mean look at this this video is still rolling she got like five minutes Rain? of video here now she, now she looks like she's dead oh nope she's gonna jump up <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh my god yeah look she got the dirt wow. foot going too did you see the dirty feet. But yeah, it's Florida, bro. Yeah. You ever God. seen that? Like at the Seven Eleven, a dirt foot. Like that's God. like that's like somebody who's in the like it's usually like a teen person, you know, and they got like you know they're they're coming pajamas up to the Seven Eleven with their change to buy a Slurpee, you know. And they got their pajamas on. Two and pajamas and a half on and black as black feet, and I'm like, damn, dude, don't tell me that was just from the walk over here. Right. All right, so I'm going to get past this uh, flock of lady. I, I, I'm sure that uh, I have the rest of the story here. Let me see if I can get a little more info before we let it loose so people don't email me and say, what happened? Give me some closure. <laughs> you left me hanging. Unfortunately, wow. that's all the information I have. You're screwed. Sorry. So just a video. Yeah, it's just freaking crazy, dude. Now she's begging to get in, begging <laughs> outside the window. Well, the police were called. The, the video cuts off before the police show up. But anyway, so that's another stellar thing that happened in Florida this week. And another thing happened in Florida this week. Now, before I show this video, I want you want to warn you that you may see mm -hmm. something that might be disturbing to you. It's in, it's in a distance, though. You, it's probably, it probably shouldn't affect you, but I'm fixing it. To, I'm fixing it. To, I'm getting ready to tell you what it is. There was a... Um, yeah, fixing? Yeah, I'm fi fixing on her, yeah. Um, 
According to Miami Herald, this is about a parasailing cable. A captain cut parasailing cable before mom and kids slammed into the Keys Bridge, police say. So apparently it was a high the wind situation and the whole boat was the getting dragged. So, and two young so he had to make a decision and he cut the cable thinking that that would be the safest thing for the boat and for the person. Well, it wasn't because the 33 year old woman from Schaumburg, Illinois, she's an Indian sounding name. And you're going to see them skirting you know, right along here. that I'm not, I'm not trying to make fun. I just, I really can't pronounce it. Super Raja Alaparthi was dead by the time a good Samaritan boat captain delivered her and the children to a restaurant in the Middle Keys city of Marathon, which police, Coast Guard crews, and paramedics were using as a staging area for Monday's tragedy. The woman was pronounced deceased on the scene. This she had her two kids with her. After being wow. To an unknown height. According to Fish and Wildlife captain Conservation Commission's line, initial incident tethered, report released the Tuesday night, the captain, Daniel Raja Couch, 49, cut the line tethered, tethered to the harness because the parasail pegged in the high gust of wind. That means the sail was so full of air that it risked dragging the boat. One law enforcement source said Couch likely cut the line hoping to catch the people on their way down. They new video, fly up, you can hear the it, strong it winds and see darkened them. clouds overhead. Authorities say severe weather Mark was Mark McCullough, yeah, no. 66, chairman now, of the Florida-based Parasail Safety Council, who pioneered parasailing in the 1970s, the boat, said the captain the should have known other tactics like steering the boat side to side, to mother, which would have deflated the parasail. He should have never done that. The golden rule is do not cut the line. Yes, I do. Wow. I don't yeah. No, I'm sorry. Unprofessional, inexperienced, dodos, trying investigation to make a buck. And got a power sail, got, got a boat. All I could think of ago, is like me being little County and doing a ride like that with my tell. mom or something. Not that we did, or or maybe, you know, my, my brother and... Uh, maybe his wife. They have a little kid. You know what I mean? There was kids involved. That must have been I, I, yeah. I, horrible. You, you want to know why I've never died parasailing? Because I, I have a parasail. You want to know why I've never died skiing? Because I don't ski. I've never jumped a motorcycle over a canyon, so I'm not dead from that. See, yeah. It's it's the fear of missing out, you know. Oh, I gotta go to the Grand Canyon. Well, guess what? I'd be the guy who fell in and died. You know, that's why I'm not going to the Grand Canyon. It's okay. I'm good. <clears throat> I'm not parasailing. I'm not skiing. You know, I'm not jumping motorcycles. Yeah. No. 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 The day my son was born was the day I lost my sense for wanting to jump out of a plane, like parachuting, because I thought, you know, I always wanted to do it. But then I thought yeah. about it rationally after he was born, and I was like, how can I, can someone explain to him when he's older to understand that I jumped out of a perfectly good airplane to my death? You know, how right. does that, you know, yeah. you wouldn't think if I was shot down or something, you know. But no. Yeah. No. You, you have a responsibility uh, to other people at a certain point. You know, can't be right. doing that crap. Well, you've heard me say it before, Mike. And this is in Florida. Yeah. This yeah. next story. I told you about how I used to work at Yellowstone National Park back in the late 80s. Yeah, of course. And I told you every year what happens. Um, winter? Someone gets <laughs> gored by a bison every year, okay? This is what okay. they told me, and I didn't believe it. I didn't see it, but one happened when I was there. And it happened again recently. An Ohio woman was gored by a bison at Yellowstone. Again, I have a copy of the news report here, so it'll show us some fancy video and so forth while I pull up the other information here. I'm just stunned that this happens. I, I, I don't know what people are thinking that they put themselves in a position. She was an Ohio woman. This is according to WL. WT National Park Service Ohio woman hospitalized after being gored tossed 10 feet by a bison Wow Now do they have they have horns? Yeah, I guess they have yeah. horns, huh? Wow 
An Ohio woman was gored and tossed 10 feet in the air by a bison after getting too close to the animal during a visit to Yellowstone National Park. The 25 year old. Honey, take my picture. Right. Take my yeah. picture. The 25 year old woman from Grove City and two other guests were in the park when the woman began to approach a bison within 10 feet of the animal. Officials say that other two park visitors were more than were within 25 yards of the same bison. Park regulations require that more than 25 yards of distance between visitors and bison. Authorities you say that, I, you know uh, why I've never been gored by a bison? <laughs> right, exactly. Because I won't go within 10 feet of a damn bison. Now, Buffalo, whatever the hell. Now this Don't happened ask. footsteps from where I used to work and live in Yellowstone. Yellowstone's a huge friggin' park. It's, it covers three states. Not a lot of people know that. Um, the thermal features cover a lot more of the country as well. It doesn't blanket three states, but it's part of three states, Montana, Wyoming, and Idaho. Um, but this happened just outside the boardwalk to Old Faithful. Authorities say the bison walked near a boardwalk just north of Old Faithful. The female approached the animal. Consequently, NPS, that's National Park Service, says the bison gored the woman, giving her a puncture wound and other injuries and tossed her 10 feet into the air. No further update on her condition was provided. This is the first reported incident of 2022 of a park visitor getting too close to a bison. You ever get like the, the you, like somebody's stories? You just want to go to the hospital where these people are at and like go to their room and like smack them and say, "What the hell's wrong with you?" Or if they're on if they're on life support or something, just unplug the machine because there's no fucking just hope for this person just for anyway. Just I mean, for a second, just give them a little startle. I, I'll plug it back in. Yeah, go 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 into the room and fold the oxygen hose in half and hold it and watch them. You know, look in their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> People know, are so dude. dumb. It's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> all right. So you know how we've talked about the moon and when they fake the moon landing and all that stuff. We've talked about okay. that in the past. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, there's <coughs> a new video I saw, out. I saw it on Transformers the other day. Yeah. There's new video out. NASA releases stunning 4K video of Apollo 13 views of the moon ending all conspiracy theories. Whoa, okay. let me turn this down. Hold on. I have to turn that down. NASA, this is according to SciNature.com. NASA has developed a stunning view of the moon using data from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, and combined with the views recorded by Apollo 13 astronauts during their risky trek around the far side in 1970. Okay, here's where I either call bullshit or this will put you into reality of what's going on. They released stunning 4K video. You're telling me in the 1970s they were able to shoot in 4K? You can't have it both ways here. Either it's 4K or it's not real. Which is it? I I have questions on it too because you know photographs from the 70s were were crap. And how can you take crap and and make it look 4K? You know, you you could take 4K and make it look like crap, but you can't take crap and make it look like 4K. I, it, it's another one of those, you know, state, uh, you know, Elon Musk's rocket ships landing on a postage stamp. It, it's something that that I can't see how they do it. Now, some of these views, they're not showing which ones are which. They, this is an edited video, obviously, that they've released about the LRO because they've combined it with other footage from other. But if it's still out there. Like, if it's been out there since the 70s, how are we sending it a 4K camera? Do you, do you follow me? I mean, I, I, yeah, I get well, it. No, they're, they're using the footage they had from the 70s, which was crap. And somehow they doctored it up and made it look pretty with okay. 4K quality. So what did you edit out that I'm not allowed to see? <laughs> yeah, I have not a clue. Yeah, it, the Transformers, that's what they edited out. The actual footage here is supposedly of the literal dark side of the moon in 1970 when the uh, astronauts went around the entire moon so they could see the back side of it where it's open and hollow, where China has a secret base. They, um, <laughs> they <laughs> when the they flew by it, they rolled cameras to show what's on the dark side of the moon or the black side of the moon because if you don't know, I'm fixing to learn you, that the 
uh, moon always faces the Earth the same position. It, the, the moon itself doesn't rotate. So on the backside, it could be like an egg broken in half. And we just cool. see the, the part that's full, you know? Well, supposedly this video ended the conspiracies. That This is showing you that there is a backside to the moon. Yeah. And the moon does spin. That's why you only see the one side of the moon. If it didn't spin, you would see all sides of the moon. No. Because if the moon keeps in orbit, it's in orbit right. facing us. Right. But the so, moon itself doesn't spin. That's not a spin. That's a movement. And I a spin. I mean, the globe itself is in. The, it it could be in a fixed position and and turn. Yeah, it it does spin. Oh my god! If it if it didn't spin, it would be like this, and you would see the backside here, and you see the side, and you see the front. But it does spin because my arm is actually spinning, and I can't make my arm spin any farther. You know who's going to settle this argument for us? Blue. Uh, Bill Nye, the science guy. Nope, Blue. I'm going to call Blue. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm sure she's circling Uranus right now. Oh, my God, dude. Really? You went there? Jesus. Anyway. Yeah. We got, we'll about, four, we got about 14 minutes. Dingleberry. We got about 14 minutes to go, so this is free time. <clears throat> free time? So let's yeah. talk about dingleberries. No. Nice. Um, any plans for the weekend? Uh, yes and no. The the uh, my son, and for those of you who don't know, he is a uh, how should oh, I Mike. call it? He's a nomad. He's a uh, digital nomad, if you would. He's got like one of those vehicles that he's tricked out into a conversion vehicle, and he travels the country and goes to cool places while he works from his computer when he's there. So cool. he's going to be in town. So oh we're gonna, wow, we're going to go to dinner. He's in town right now. We're going to meet up tomorrow. So yes, thank you for asking. It should be cool. it should be fun. <clears throat> Yourself? Um, well, let's get back to Trey. Married, his his wife will be with him. Yes, I hope. Any any children on the way? And what's what's up? Bro, no, really, we, really, I yeah, was anticipating some... hearing that tomorrow if if that was the <laughs> case, but I doubt it. So yeah, yeah I think sure they like their lifestyle too much for that, dude. Yeah, it, it's how they are, and and that my daughter is the same age as Trey. She's the same way. He just had a birthday, right? In April, yes. Why? Maybe she. Maybe his wife had a birthday. Someone had a birthday in your family past week. Well, <laughs> just by pure mathematics, being my family so large, it's always someone's birthday every month. <laughs> we've right. had, we've had, uh, friends and acquaintances that have accused us of not wanting to go somewhere and do something because. We can't possibly have that many birthdays in our family. Right. I was right. like, no, I, I'd like to go to that thing Friday, but, you know, my, it's my sister's birthday or whatever. How many family people do you have? It's always a birthday. You know, I'm like, well, I'm sorry, dude. What do you want? Well, I, I just like the fact that your parents, when they were younger, celebrated uh, St. Patrick's Day a lot. Oh, yeah. Because nine months later is December. That's right. No, <laughs> and two of the four of you, December. Yeah, well, that's what it is. I mean, it, you know, that was a different time and a different place then too. You know, it was a shit. Right. The two you're talking about, we're over fifty years old, dude. We're you know, a lot's changed, dude. But look, look what we're doing. In in 1970, right. could you have imagined this? Yeah, uh, dude, I was fascinated by a calculator in 1970. <laughs> look, I made it say boobs. <laughs> it says shell. <laughs> and look, if I take the take the S off, it says hell. Yeah. Yeah. Different yeah, time. I remember pa my parents bought their, their first calculator at Sears. Yeah, and it was probably $100. You're right? Yeah, probably 50 bucks. And it was Imagine. probably big and bulky. It probably looked like this one here. Now it was, it was slimmer than that one, probably, probably the same height, a little thicker. I remember, dude, that was the thing. You couldn't bring a yeah. calculator to school with you and everything. And then all of a sudden, when I was done with that part of school, they were like, oh, yeah, you could bring calculators. Like, yeah. Really? Yeah. It, it makes no sense. But, yeah, they don't even do math the same way anymore. So you, you probably need a scientific what, calculator. What do, they, what do they do in English now? If, if, if they're letting you bring in a calculator, 
what do they do? Do they and everybody's got a calculator now with their phone anyway? But what do they do in English? Do they like do it wheel of fortune style? They give you like five letters and you need to guess two, or how's that work? No, you bring the dictionary and a thesaurus, dude. Would you believe I didn't know there was such a thing as a thesaurus until I was in college? Really? Yeah. Like I had no idea it existed until I was in college. And I'm like, what the Wait, really? Where's this been all my life? And see, all these years, I thought when people said that, they were referencing a guy who had too much fun with a bunch of guys the night before. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> the sore ass. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. But a bunch. Uh, yeah. So. Anyway, um, I, I hope that closes that for you about the moon, Mike. I hope you feel better about the moon now. Yeah, I, I, I have moon closure now. Well, I, I mean, they're showing us a video. They could, it looks like something that uh, uh, the video itself, do you know who it looks like shot it? The guy who did 2000 Space Odyssey. Okay. And that was about the same time period. Do you, you think? Yeah, I was know it? it was. Because he was involved in in the same, using the same cameras that NASA used. Uh, there right, was a big right, thing right. on that. There were two of these cameras in the world, and he had one of them. So who, who was that? Coppola? Was it, was it Francis Ford Coppola? I'm looking it up now. <laughs> okay, that made no sense. Uh, I hate my phone. I'll double check myself here. Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> ah. Yes. That was a good movie. You've seen it? Fun. Never saw it. Stop. Dude, never saw it. I, there's like a lot of stuff I've, I've never seen. This movie was made in 1968, and wow. it, it would still hold up to today's standards almost. You know what I mean? Like it's like the, it's like the Star Wars, where you know it'll still hold up a little bit. You know, <laughs> hold up a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, my my phone ain't working properly. <clears throat> yeah. <coughs> so as far as uh, <clears throat> me this weekend. I gotta cut the grass. It's been a. Uh, is that what you kids are calling it now? Cutting the grass. <laughs> <clears throat> I, uh, yeah, with me hurting my back last week, I'm yeah, still how walking is around. Is that better? Yeah, it, I would say 80% better. Okay. I'm still walking around crooked. All right. And it's not fun, but uh, the grass needs to be cut. So I gotta cut that. And then. Uh, the, now, uh, now are you gonna hook a walker up to the to the uh, lawnmower, or you got a riding mower? Nice. I have a riding mower, okay. but I, uh, I I was actually using my walker last week. That's how bad my bag was. All right. Cool. Um, and then uh, tomorrow night, the minor league baseball team here in Jacksonville, the Jumbo uh, Shrimp, the, ju the Jumbo Shrimp. Yes. Um, they are doing a uh, a kids movie at the field very nice so we are no game but they're they're playing the um the paw patrol movie ah so the boys will be going in their paw patrol I, gear i thought paw, paw patrol, patrol was playing. canceled i thought they said it was racist yeah no it was that was two years ago that was somebody trying to make news Is that that was the same time they took that guy off the box of rice now it's just it's no longer uncle ben's it's just ben's Yes, and yes, there's and no picture. Aunt, Aunt Jemima. There's no Aunt All Jemima. That, yeah, the 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 the, the, the what, what's the the undo police un, un defund that whole movement yeah. that yeah it was a flash Cancel culture. Band, people cancel culture. Yeah. people people trying to you know say look at me. Ironically, they kept spick and span. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, yeah that wasn't obvious enough yeah yeah do you remember i don't know if you remember florida you came to visit florida when you were young like in the 70s yes well do you remember a restaurant called sambo's sambo's uh, i've heard of it but i've never been to one I've the never character seen one. was actually a cartoon character black kid and it was like <laughs> little black sambo's and you used to go there yeah dude they had it like uh it was like an ice cream Diner, like it was like a little diner. They served breakfast. They served all the, you know, the uh, the comfort foods, and they, you know, it was stayed open late, opened early, and it was basically like a row of booths and a Waffle House counter, but it was dressed a little nicer, and it was Sambo's. Okay. 
the shambles. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So those closed up in the late 70s, early 80s. Wow. I yeah. I was here in 77, and then I wasn't back until 87. Mm. Yeah, October 87. And then visited probably uh, once or twice a year for over a decade. Yeah, that cancel culture. I mean, we're living through a lot of stuff. I'm documenting and saving some things so that in 20 years, when somebody tells me this didn't happen or that happened or whatever, I have the documentation, you know, because I, I, you know, whoever is in power controls what history says. Like, essentially, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they can go back and say it happened however it